Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about essential oils and skincare and I'm going to share with you the essential oils that we use the most frequently in our home for skincare and I'm going to share with you the reasons why. First I'm going to let you know a little story about my daughter. Back in daycare, she would often get bouts of eczema. She'd get a little patch on one of her legs and she would get it on both cheeks. And I knew that there are two essential oils very commonly used for skin and they are lavender and tea tree. And I would take a little bit of fractionated coconut oil before bedtime, put it in the palm of my hand and I would add a drop of lavender and a drop of tea tree. I would just mix it with my finger and apply it ever so gently to the areas that had eczema. And come morning, so we're talking about one sleep, come morning it's like she had brand new skin. So for anybody that suffers from eczema, I highly recommend the go-to oils to try first should be lavender and tea tree. And I'll share with you my first experience with supporting a skin condition. And it was with frankincense and the melasma that I had on my forehead. So I had these uh, dark brown patches that were on my forehead and I took a drop of frankincense every morning and night and added it to my moisturizer and applied it. And within a number of weeks, the melasma that I had had for years had disappeared and it has never returned. Frankincense is amazing for skin. It's great to support scars. It's great if you happen to have age spots to support that. Oftentimes people that will have a mole will say that they have used frankincense on it and that it has disappeared. Um, there are other people who will um, indicate that they've had a cancerous um, skin growth and they've applied frankincense oil that has reduced it considerably or it has diminished it completely. So frankincense oil is the king of all oils, it truly is. Yarrow Palm, I love using this. This is like fountain of youth in a bottle. It truly is, it brightens your skin. It's amazing um, to put under your eyes. If you're somebody that has dark circles under your eyes, some people call them bags, I call them oversized luggage. This is great to support that, okay? Um, this gives you the added moisturizer. It's, it adds that collagen um, to your skin. It has a dark blue tinge to it. So when you apply it, you can see the blue on the skin, but the more you rub it in, uh, that disappears, that fades. And what I like about the fact that it has that tinge is you can see exactly where you're applying and make sure that you're applying it where you want to. Another one I reach for often is rose oil. Okay. Rose oil is fantastic because it speeds up the healing process for skin. So if you happen to have a bruise or a cut or a scar, this is great to apply. This is great to brighten skin. So oftentimes before bedtime, I will apply this all over the skin and then put moisturizer on top about two minutes later. And again, this is also great to support the oversized luggage under your eyes. And last but not least is Copaiba oil. So if you are somebody that gets a pimple here and there, I use a drop, I put a drop on my finger and I will just do a spot treatment. So this is great for that. This also boosts collagen and it also brightens skin. So I hope that you've learned lots. I hope you enjoyed these tips and I can't wait to share with you again soon.